How I build stadium seating in Minecraft. In part 1, I showed you the process for a rectangular field. In this part 2 video, I'll show you the process for a baseball stadium. Baseball stadium has a radically different shape. While the main techniques are exactly the same, the process is more complicated. I've spent many hours figuring all this out so you don't have to. I've also provided a download link in the description for my field design. You'll see exactly what you see here and you can follow along and build with me. Go ahead, pause the video and get the download. Oh wait, I've also got a couple extra bonuses for you later on in the video, so keep watching for those. And to help keep everything in check, I've included marker blocks for the four corners, center, and home base is conveniently placed at zero zero. You are encouraged to follow along using the dimensions shown here, or, you know, feel free to modify it however you see fit. My goal is to teach you the techniques, not just copy what I do. This section here and this section here actually follow the part one video process. So go and check that out to find out how to build these. What we're building is this upper deck here. This can also be used to fill in these little wraparound areas at the back and in the outfield. A huge time-saving piece of advice I can give you, use this same process to build your roof so it matches your curve of your seating perfectly and it looks super sweet. We first need to create a layout. This is mine and I will also include this in the download link. And now for bonus number one. Not only have I included the layout for what we're building in this video, but I've also included the other two seating level layouts from my stadium. Three things we need to keep in mind are number of seat rows and the angle, the headroom from the upper seat to the bottom of the next level, and our overhang distance of the upper level. Starting at our pink center block, we're going to create two ovals that merge into one. Create the first oval with this command. Then we'll create our second oval using the same command, but we're going to flip-flop the radius numbers. And this is the shape we get. Now, what we want to do is remove this section here, this section here, and these two sections here, yeet, to reveal our final shape. We're back here on our center block. We've got our layout set out in front of us to follow along easily. Now, just a matter of stacking up to follow our pattern, and reducing the radius of each of our ovals each time. Now I know what you're thinking. Race, that is a lot of tedious work to remove all those sections. Yes, I know. But that end result? Oh yeah, it's worth it. Since we're building an upper deck and not the ground level, go ahead and stack up about 40 blocks. Start making your circles alternating the radius numbers. I highly suggest to remove the sections as you go. Trust me, it will be a pain in the butt to do later. Take your time to carve out underneath to match the pattern as this will be seen from below. Following the layout pattern and removing what we don't need as we go. You'll notice I did not follow my own advice to remove as I go. And ugh, I paid for it in extra work. Another suggestion is to alternate block color for each row. This will help when removing. Building just the floor and then going back to do the seats may be an easier method for you as well. Now, using my favorite half hack, just gonna concentrate on one half. I've placed yellow marker blocks on the corners. Schematic the finalized half using the marker blocks as reference. Paste in your schematic, rotate, align, and finalize, paste in the other side, and boom, we are looking good. Now we're gonna cut this section out here. I decided to cut it from here and here. Uh, then you just move it either up or down to get it out of the way. And then create your schematic. We're gonna do some final cleanup on the main section, then create a schematic of that whole main section. And since you've also watched part one, now you're ready to start building a stadium. Or is there one more element I can include? In drops bonus number two, let's do the roof. And, as an added bonus to the bonus, I'll include the roof layout in the download. The roof process is exactly the same as we just did, just without the seats. However, there is one change. I added some overhang, so the starting dimensions will be two blocks larger at 128 and 152. Since this will be seen from both top and bottom, I highly suggest alternating colors to make merging the circles easier. This adds a little time swapping commands, but ultimately saves more time during the removal. 
Here are a few extra tips. Find a rhythm that's easy to follow and easy to repeat, and use a random pattern of colored blocks for ease of removal. What I do is place a block on my layout, then go and do my circles, then go and remove what I don't need, and then repeat the whole process again. So it's just place, circle, remove, repeat. As before, just follow the pattern, remove as you go, and only concentrate on half. Completely changing up the block colors for the inner part makes removal even easier. Although it will look like a total train wreck while building it. Change all that ugliness to white. Schematic the finalized half. We're going to need to trim the schematic a bit. I chose to cut it here and here. And then just paste it in. Use world edit to remove what I didn't want. Do the rotate and paste thing to join the two halves together. Match the outfield cutout. And there we go. We've raised the roof. Good job. I hope you find this video both helpful and useful. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out of here. See ya. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? I got awesome over here on the left. I got more awesome over here on the right. And for all the awesome, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you next time.